You're watching a COVID relief news bulletin of Sandibani Vidyani Gedan, an institution founded by Bujya Shri, by Shri Ramesh Pai Oza. My name is Priti Writer, and joining me here today is Bupendra Pai Kansagra, spokesperson for Sandipani Vidyani Ketan and chairperson of Sanskriti Foundation UK. Bupendra Pai, thank you so much for joining me here today. Now, under the guidance and blessings of Bujia Bhai Shri Ramesh Pawaza, um, Sandipani is supporting the COVID relief efforts um, in India. Can you tell me a little bit more? about the progress that has been made to date. Um, thank you, Priti, for taking my audience today. Uh, we looked at various options on lending a helping hand in the cri current crisis of the COVID pandemic. We considered various options, but finally have zeroed in on three particular projects. One is the installation of a cryogenic oxygen tank in the local hospital with a capacity of about 20,000 liters at, stored at minus 200 degrees centigrade. Secondly, we were able to source against much demand and difficulties about 25 oxygen concentrating machines that should be in Sandipan in the course of the week, if not already there. And thirdly, we will make 20 kilo food parcels and distribute to the needy as we did in the first lockdown last year. Those are the three projects we've embarked on currently. Now, this is something very pressing. It's uh, obviously something that's very urgent that needs to be set up almost straight away. Now, I know that you know, the, the team at Sandipani um, have been working really, really hard, but equally devotees from right across the globe have been wanting to get involved. And lots of people have been reaching out and making an offering saying, we want to help. So those people that are tuned in and watching this bulletin today, how can they actually get involved? Um, I think it's a very good question. Uh, for me, I think the simplest and the best help currently that can be rendered is a financial one. As the more money we at Sandipani can collect, the greater and the more expensive the help the team at Sandipani on the ground in Porbanda can extend to the needy locally. Uh, that's, I think, my answer to how the various devotees in the UK or anywhere around the world can assist in the current crisis. Now, obviously very little is never, uh, you know, sometimes people say, well, all I've got, but I really want to help in some way. You know, I've got 10 pounds, 15 pounds, but every penny counts, right? Absolutely. As you can see, the food parcel that we make of 20 kilos of mixed essentials for an Indian household to last about a week costs as little as 11 pounds. And you know, 11 pounds doesn't go very far when you do an Ocado shop or you go to Waitrose in this country, but 11 pounds does get 20 kilos of essential ration for the Indian family in Porbanda. Sure. And so every, every bit will help, even if it is one pound from the child's piggy bank or from the grandfather's bank, any amount will help. We will collect the money and we will direct it as we deem best used on the ground. Sure. And I know that kind of lots of people have been involved working day and night behind the scenes trying to implement uh, this COVID relief project. And that's, again, not just our brothers at Sandipani Vidyani, but from right across the globe. So many people have been touching base with yourself, Pupendra Pai, but with other key personnel right across Sandipani, across the UK, Canada, right across the globe again. Now, those people obviously have relatives, have friends, um, in India and would really like to make some kind of contribution um, to this very worthy cause. Now, in your opinion, um, where do you see this project going in, 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 the, in the long term? 
Um, I think the primary reason for the team led by Pujia Bhaisri in selecting the installation of the cryogenic oxygen tank at Porbandar Civil Hospital is the very reason that it has longevity. It will be used not only in this current crisis, it will be used tomorrow, it will be used next year. And if, and we hope it will be managed and maintained well, should last better part of 25 years. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is, I think, one of the main reasons we went for something that had residual value from all the monies that we will have collected already and we will collect, that there is something to show for going forward. Sure. Now, again, in terms of long-term, you just mentioned long-term projects. We know at this moment in time, India is in urgent need of oxygen cylinders. We know that there's a tank on its way, uh, you know, to Borbandar any day now that will be donated to the local hospital. But we also know in, in long term, um, uh, over, over, the, over the many months still to come, uh, Pujya Paishri has other plans as well. And those plans are about the oxygen generation um, plants uh, that are to be obtained and then installed at Sandibani. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, we believe COVID-19 has highlighted many shortcomings of the current system in India. Whilst we all talk of the COVID-19, very little, if any, but is talking of the long-term effects of COVID. We call it in this country, long COVID symptoms. And we believe if we start now and have an oxygen generating plant at Sandipani, we will be able to distribute oxygen at an affordable cost and in a transparent manner to the long COVID sufferers going forward. I mean, that's absolutely wonderful news. Again, you know, every single day, I'm sure those people that are watching this news bulletin will be tuned in to all the various different platforms that are available uh, that are spreading the news around the developments that are also taking place in India with um, input from you know, various different countries. But again, uh, Sandipani is, is kind of almost leading this platform. But my, a personal question then to yourself, Upendra Pai, what is it about Sandipani and Bhaishri that actually inspires you to be a part of this project, but also other projects that are associated with Bhujia Bhaishri? Um, Priti, for me, Bhaishri is a person who leads Sandipani and leads from the front line. And for me, that is very important that he's in the front and we are all following. He's not at the back and directing us, go and do this, go and jump in the lake. If there's any jumping to be done, he's there hand in hand with us. And that for me is a big motivation factor. And that's not very often seen. Bhaishri and Sandipani do not segregate as to who they help or not. Anyone irrespective of his background who needs help and Sandipani can extend it, will get it and as such i think in summary everyone is equal in paishri's eyes and in sandipani's organization and that's why i'm associated with them and that's a really good point so once again for anybody that is viewing this covid relief news bulletin brought to you by uh, sandipani vidyani getan this is a humanitarian uh, COVID relief project, it's uh, going to be beneficial to all those people, regardless of their cultural or religious background. And of course, in the eyes of Pujia Bhaishri, we are all equal. We are the family of uh, Sri Hari, as he would no doubt put it. Um, thank you so much, Bhupendra Pai, for joining me here today uh, for this COVID relief news bulletin of Sandipani Vidya Niketan. From me, Priti Raichara, Jay Shri Krishna, and Namaste. Thank you, Priti. Thank you. And stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Definitely. Thank you.